and he's got some specific strategies going up against the southpaw. He knows the power that Ty possesses in that left hand, so he wants to utilize more right kicks to shut down that power side as JoJo is ready to take on Ty. Now, this match is three three-minute rounds of flyweight Muay Thai. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, training out of Saw Ja Biak Utai Gym, holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record of 50 and 9. Representing Thailand! Thai! And introducing his opponent, out of the red corner, training out of Red Top Muay Thai Gym, holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record of 20 and 6. Representing Malaysia and the United States of America, Johan Jojo Gazali. I'm cool, man. Don't make fun, make fun, make it. Nah, Jan, don't do it. Don't make fun, don't make fun. Don't do it. Nah, do it. Nah, don't make fun. No glove touch as referee Bomb gets us touch. underway. Ty in the red, Johan Ghazali in the black and white, and immediately Johan comes out firing with the 3 2. Look a strong two, Mitch. Beautiful left hook from the lead hand of Johan Ghazali. A tie with a big, strong high guard. Should be able to take those shots. <laughs> They're swinging, Mitch. Big heavy leg kicks coming from Ty. A couple of them checked by Jojo. As he eats up that inside oh. leg. Now Jojo can get the knockout shots, but it'll be interesting to see how he takes the shots coming from Ty. Yeah, we didn't get to see much from Johan last time as he got out of there with this beautiful 16-second knockout. This match already three times as long as the first time he was in there. As he up the car, Ty's looking for it. Attacking that rear leg, really trying to get out of those legs. Is Ty, Ty's going here with that left hand. Joe Hunt hanging him on, and the crowd absolutely loving it. Look at the swagger on this young man, Gian. Finishes the right hand and goes to the high guard. Ty's looking to lead with the lead up the cover. He's landed it twice. Now he's <laughs> John. He says, bring it on. John has it. Help him to get back. To that inner circle. Bring it on. Top point. That could get him to the top up to the big show. And John has it now. Beautiful. Ty is banging with him. We love from both sides. Ty and Ghazali swinging for the face. But that low kick of Ty will damage now on Ghazali. Johan, even though he's checking it, you know that was going to hurt. As you go to the second and third rounds, look for that low kick of Ty to do the damage. Yeah, Johnny, I like that. That low kick that's coming right across the body and digging into that rear leg. Straight left by Johan, but a knee up the middle by Ty. And Ty coming forward with his head, trying to encourage Johan to throw those big shots. This has been a furious pace, Mitch. Can Johan keep it up? Ty's got more experience against fighters that are aggressive. Johan, the last one lasted only 16 seconds. No knock on there was a slip. Look at the throw an elbow off the break. 
as that big left hook, he wings it and pushes Ty back. They are looking to put each other to sleep, Mitch. And Johan throwing every single bit of himself into each one of these shots. Johan's got good defense on that uppercut, right? He's keeping that double forearms guard, but if Ty can start working his way with hooks around the outside, he might be able to score some points. But I like that rear leg low kick from Ty, but I'm loving the boxing combinations from Johan. I'd like to see him start working to the body and start mixing in those low kicks as well more. See the corner of Gazali's got both his brothers, Elias and Kakao out here alongside. Head coach, Eddie Sikpayak, and Ty has Kulak down in his corner. That's a nice left hook to the body. That left hook to the body's landing really nice for Joe Hartwich. Now Joe Hart's mixing things up on the body kicks, high kicks, to go along with those big, powerful punches that he's throwing. Beautiful, a three-punch combination finished with a leg kick followed by another hand combination coming from Ty. off here I think there's a nice elbow from Ghazali but the blood leaking down it is the elbows of Ty the right hand landed multiple times for Ghazali in that second round but look at the combinations coming from Ty that was the elbow that did the damage on the head of Ghazali the right hand there landing for Johan Ghazali and Ty seeming to slow down in that second round let's see how this third round goes but Ghazali's on the top rope trying to Pull some energy from the crowd here inside this Lumpini boxing arena. Ghazali has this entire stadium on their feet, cheering 
this match on. Gazali's pumping me up, Gianni. Gazali goes up top of the head kick, but Ty leans back. As Gazali goes liver hunting. What an entertaining young man, Gianni. Nice left took over the top, but Ty again starting the round strong. The elbows in, on the inside. He's so sharp with that back elbow, Mitch. Creating a lot of good leverage of that match, but nice push on to counter that kick. Oh, the strength of Gazali, the balance. He might not have knocked down Ty yet, but he's definitely showing dominance, just his strength and his aggression. That's four times that Ty has hit the mat. Gazali goes up top, tries to run him down, evades the high kick. Pushing hard in this third round, John Gazali showing defense as well. There's something ferocious about you Malaysian Americans, isn't it? You got the yelling, egging on Ty again. Look at the line of right hand, but he's a elbow from Ty. Ty not backing down at all. He's a man of right hand. You and Ty. One minute, 45 seconds to go as Ty pulls a right hand. He tumbles out, the elbow starts flying. These guys are swinging with everything. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute and 37 seconds in the third round, your referee has called a stop to this contest. Your winner, by way of knockout, Johan Gazzani! 16-year-old Johan Gazzani continues to put on performances here inside this iconic Lumpini Boxing Arena. for the post-fight interview. Johan Ghazali, what did you tell me? I told you I was going to knock him out with the right hand. I told you. Woohoo! We have a conversation. They said that they want to knock him out with the The first one took 16 seconds. This took a little bit longer, but it was no less exciting. What is it that you come in here with so much passion pushing you forward? To be honest, I like it like this more. I don't like the 16 seconds. I like it to be a long night for all my opponents. And I'm telling you, I'm strong because I have my mother, I have my father watching back home. I have my friends, brothers, my sister. They all came out here from Malaysia to support me. So it's almost disrespectful to not give it 100%. When I lose, I come here 100% all the time. You had the cut, you went to the doctor, you were like, no, please don't stop this, let me keep going. How urgent was that third and final round for you? My coach told me when I sat down for second round, he said, you lost the second round. 
this is the last round. You got to win it. If you don't, you lose. So I, I just said, all right, let's go win or lose. I'm going to do it. Let's go. ครับผมก็ตอนที่ผมเริ่มเจ็บบาดเจ็บนะครับโค้ชบอกให้ผมเนี่ยเริ่มรีบปิดเกมได้แล้วแพ้ชนะไม่สําคัญผมจะต้องปิดเกมไม่ได้ตอนนี้ Well so far at one Friday fight you've got yourself two knockouts you know that c h a t r i s i d y o t o n g is making it two bonuses you just got 350,000 baht for your second knockout in a row ก็นี่เป็นการชนะน็อกเอาครั้งที่2นะครับได้เป็นโบนัสที่2จากคุณชาติสามแสนห้าหมื่นบาทครับ Thank you, thank you so much. I made 20 G's in four months. This is crazy, man. I'm only 16. <laughs> so my next target is to get that contract. That's what I want. I feel like the one championship belt is bound for me. I'm the future. Come on, come on. Thank you, thank you, Mr. c h a t r i Thank you, one championship. Thank you, everyone who supported me and trained and everything. Thank you. <laughs> you might be the future, but right now you are the present. Can't wait to see you back inside this ring, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise for your winner, Johan Gaz.